The HPC for Manufacturing program is a program that's funded by the Department of Energy's Advanced Manufacturing Office in EERE, and it's designed to lower the barriers and lower the risk associated with incorporating high-performance computing into industrial and, in particular, manufacturing uh, technologies and sectors. So the Department of Energy has five of the top 12 most powerful computers on the planet. And we have a lot of expertise in using those systems to address a wide range of challenges. A lot of the industrial manufacturing sector does not have access to that kind of computational power. And so this program is designed to show them what high performance computing can do for them in the context of their problems and their challenges. One of our earliest projects, it was in fact one of our seedling projects that we funded uh, back in September of 2015, was with a consortium that's working with the U.S. steel industry. And so in that particular case, we're looking at different processes um, to reduce uh, the amount of coke that's used in the manufacturing of iron ore. And so there are lots of different parameters that can be varied in the context of the big blast furnaces that they use from oxygen enrichment levels to how fast they're blowing air in over to the amount of coke that they're putting into pressure. So there's many, many parameters that they can change. And we're looking at a broad suite of, of those parameters uh, to understand if and how we can reduce the use of coke. And if, we, if we're successful, we'll be able to save on the order of $80 million a year in, in reduced coke costs for, for U.S. steel manufacturing. So an example of working with a smaller industry is, is a project that we have with Sora, which is looking at using new kinds of uh, ammonothermal reactors to grow gallium nitride crystals, which can be used for LED lighting and other sorts of processes in the manufacturing sector. But right now, the reactor technologies they're using aren't very well understood, and they're difficult to get at experimentally. So we can use high-performance computing, modeling, and simulation to look at different configurations of the reactor, understand the flow through the crystals in those reactors, and really improve their processes to make that a much more viable manufacturing technology. The high-performance computing for manufacturing program is of benefit to industry for a number of reasons. It's really lowering the risk associated with using high performance computing to accelerate innovation, reduce energy costs, improve and optimize design, and impact their manufacturing processes.